All right, by my my Gemini, it is I, Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Yes, indeed, my dears. To let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of July 2020, show me the money energy. It is me, right? It's Shira, and thank you to all my OGs and all my newbies for clicking this video and liking sharing and subscribing thank you to everyone who's been showing any type of form of support haven't been booking a personal private reading a cash app paypal the amazon wish list i thank you all i thank you all we got four new amazing decks that we're going to be using today this one this one this one and this one this is my og um during virtue deck that we're going to be using and we're going to find out what's going on with my lovely lovely gemini's for um yeah, July 2020. Um, as you know, um, if you want to book a personal private reading with me, click the About tab on my YouTube page. Click that Instagram link. Send me a message. Um, the pricing list is in the description of this video and on my About tab. If you don't have an Instagram to connect with me, you can feel free to email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. And I will walk you through the steps of getting you connected on Google Hangouts. Okay, so we can do the video reading. Um, again, as you guys know, I always give praises and just acknowledgments to the Lord and the Creator for everything that um, we have and everything that we do before I ask any questions um, to get guidance for you guys for the month of July. So let's just bow our heads real quick and just give honor and respects to the Creator. So Father God, thank you so much for um, bringing us here today. We're here for the sign of the lovely, lovely Gemini. All right. We're here to just thank you so much for all of the blessings that you've created ahead of us, Father God. Uh, we're just keeping ourselves just, you know, swift and sturdy you know look swift and strong fast and strong you know what i'm saying we are just keeping ourselves ahead of the game ahead of the competition father god you already know how we do we got to keep it 100 percent accurate and we got to be smarter than the rest and better than the rest you know so we're just aiming for perfection father god and we just thank you so much for just like helping us push our way through so Help us, give us uh, encouragement and guidance in regards to the future. Give us whatever it is that we need to know to show and grow and just be the best that we could be for ourselves and for you, Father God. So thank you so much for being a true and um, dear friend to us and just, you know, making sure that we have all the resources that we need to receive and believe in ourselves so give us guidance for the sign of gemini for july 2020 show me the money energy and thank you so much for all the blessings and the lessons in the past present and future amen all right you guys so let's see what's going on for gemini hey kai can you come and close my door please excuse me you guys close my door thank you so much <laughs> Pop out like that. Daydreaming. Okay. All right. Oh, Lord. We is not about to sing Selena. I don't need to sing Selena today. Okay. All right. But y'all daydreaming about somebody. Who y'all thinking about, girl? Who you thinking about? Okay. You guys are sitting over there manifesting. Y'all thinking about someone's scent, someone's aroma. You smelling old fabrics and stuff to have someone's old cologne and from the last time they were there. Like, I look, I've definitely been in love like that. Have y'all been in love like that? And listen, I've been in love like that, okay? Where you just keep an old shirt and you just smell it, just be like, ooh, it smells, ooh. Ch listen, come on now. Who y'all been thinking about? It says you will easily hear and receive our message if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creativity. So you guys are literally daydreaming and manifesting your future into fruition. Let's find out what the heck you over there dreaming about. It's like something is so good and so close that you can taste it. You can smell it like in your mind. Like it's that. It's that close to you. You think about it and it's like 
you feel like it's that obtainable to you you can taste it you can smell it it's so close the three of bows of fulfillment in the reverse okay you it's like you questioning if you want to really leave certain things behind and move in a new direction it's like you guys are manifesting in a new vision of home and what fulfillment is because i really feel like the the, the truth that is rooted behind you i don't feel like it's as fulfilling as you thought it would be I feel like someone is thinking and daydreaming about moving on to a new state of existence. Look, the 10, look again, moving on to a new home, a new foundation, a new state of happiness where it's the complete package. Like, you guys want the complete package, not like, you know, it's like when I go buy me some Lay's, I want a full bag of chips. I don't want half a bag of chips and half a bag of egg. I want a full, I want what I paid for. You understand what I'm saying? And it's like, that's what you want. It's like for right now, you got like a half bag of fucking knockoff uh, Value City. Like, Value City is a fucking furniture place. Oh, my God. But you got like a knockoff, like, Dollar Tree brand potato chips and not Lay's. And it ain't even a full bag. The Six of Stones is something that, like, you regret investing in like it didn't pay off in the way that you expected it to and i really do feel like you are trying to unsubscribe it's like you're trying to you don't want to renew your ex i mean your um subscription because you feel like these people are exploiting you these people are taking advantage of your generosity and your kindness and like excuse me maybe what you were subscribing to this channel for you're not actually getting out of it and it's like it still leaves you longing and daydreaming for more it's like I, I i need more fulfillment you know what i'm saying i just i need a place where i can rest and relax and call my my own that's my home do you understand this tree where you've been relaxing and you found comfort in and you know it's familiar to you now. You're ready to walk away. But it's like you just need some more time because you're trying to be patient. But it's kind of hard for you to be patient. It's like you're kind of moving towards the level of impatience. It's like I can't wait anymore. It's just like I want this sweet environment of like a sound, stable environment. You know what I'm saying? Like a more livable and comfortable structure it's like you want luxury you want ambiance you know what i'm saying like when you walk in the house you want it to smell like happiness and roses and stuff like that not poverty and um ramen noodles and hot dogs and strawberry kool-aid um girl do you understand what i'm saying like this is hot dogs um <laughs> it's hot dogs ramen noodles and cherry kool-aid okay bitch this is not the life of luxury that Gemini is asking for. What is this? The Ten of Vessels happiness. Like, I'm trying to tell you, Gemini is focusing on financial security and emotional security, not sickness and poverty, begging and robbing Peter to pay Paul. Like, that is not what the fuck I'm trying to be doing right now. You guys are daydreaming on emotional happiness and financial security and abundance and fulfillment. Like, that's what you guys want. You're tired of struggling you know what i'm saying like i don't want to give to this situation anymore this shit is the pits you know what i'm saying like i'm paying all this money for this small ass apartment and stuff like that and, and beggars can't be choosers beggars cannot be choosers oh what is this says transcendence so i want to say like you guys have like emotionally move past where you were yesterday you know it's again like i told you it's like you guys are ready to move on it's just like you just don't know how or you just don't know the first step or something or you feel like you have to you've been feeling like you've had to wait on i feel like your money to pick up or for a financial obligation where you have to give and take care of something or someone to be over before you leave but it's just like man the way i've been thinking and i've been 
the way I've been daydreaming and I've been thinking about like financial security and just emotional security and just everything just raining down on me. I don't want to sit up here and wait for somebody. It's like it's like if you if you get approved for this new house, you know what I'm saying? Without having to it's like if you get approved for this new house and you could do it without having to take these people with you and you could do it by yourself, it's like that's what you want to do because you're past this need to feel like they're saying taking care of people to to fulfill your ego you know what i'm saying it's like oh i could do that for you or i could help you or i could do this and this is and that and just being willing to just be available for people you know what i'm saying kind of being a people pleaser really pleasing yourself but pleasing them to please yourself do you understand what i'm saying and it's like i feel like you might have started something that you just don't want to finish it's like it's not giving to me the way I was given to it so it's like I don't want to give my assets to this person anymore that's always without always in lack always begging always in need always you know it's always a fucking story like it's always this motherfucker and somebody else constantly needing something for me and it's like I'm never gonna have shit as long as these people are around me so it's like I feel like if you guys get approved for something where it's like okay I can leave this house it's like only thing I'm waiting for is for this it's for me to get approved for this new house if I get approved for this new house oh bitch I'm the I am not even waiting because I don't want to take them with me. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like you're transcended past feeling like you need to help other people to feed your ego. It's like you felt fulfilled by the feeling of people needing you. And right now you're transcended past that. You don't want anybody that needs you. You understand? You want them to need them to need to be on their own shit. You understand what I'm saying? I don't need you to want and need me for a motherfucking thing. I need you to be on your shit. Okay? Because you ain't about to take my money no more. It's like I'm tired of giving. And not getting nothing back. You've transcended past that shit. Transcend your mind's limitations. And allow your soul's light to truly shine. Like exactly. I feel like the thing that's been limiting you is... You've been daydreaming thinking about the day that you could finally leave without feeling guilty about not helping someone. And it's like, I don't, you don't have to, you need to transcend past that. Like, these motherfuckers need to help themselves. And until they, and until you stop helping them and letting them exploit you, because this says exploitation. Like, these motherfuckers be pulling on your heartstrings because you know, and they come over there with a sob story to you that you're going to give it and you're not going to go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are people that know exactly what the fuck they're doing to keep you where you're at because they need you. You know what I'm saying? They need you. And at the end of the day, you need you. And you've been daydreaming about a situation where you're not, because you, you hate, it's in the beginning, you did mind giving to these people, now you hate giving to the people, every time this person calls you, you just like, oh god, what the, f yes, how, yes, how can I help you, no, 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 I'm not upset, I'm not upset, no, I just, you know, I'm just not having a good day today, what's going on, and it's like, you answer the phone like that because it's like you just know that this motherfucker is about to ask for something that has to do with you giving them something and some money or you doing something in some way somehow that's going to inconvenience you where it's going to be all the game for them and it's like you're fucking tired of that shit I, I, I can't do that shit no more point blank the fuck period and I'm dreaming of, 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 of something else of happiness come on Jay Z and Beyonce and I done had this card with one of my personal readings. And you know this card is about one-off deals. Okay? One-off deals is... Listen. And all my Beyonce fans. If y'all have a problem with what I got to say. Y'all already know what the tune is. And how I rock with my page. Unsubscribe. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to speak the truth. Because y'all not going to grow. If I don't speak the goddamn truth. 
First off, let me tell you about what this card says. Then I'm going to talk to you about the conversation that I had with the young girl that I had the personal reading with. Okay, it says avoid one-off deals or else make sure that they're really worth it. Again, one-off deals or else they're really worth it. To this person, this Gemini, it wasn't worth it because like... At first, I got off on the need of being needed. You know what I'm saying? I like taking care of this person. I like doing things for this person and things. Because it was doing something for me, it was feeding my ego. Now, this shit is just completely backfired where I have these fucking beggars. It's like, it's like I can't even just enjoy my day without this person asking me for something or me feeling like I got to be responsible for somebody else when these are grown ass people. You know what I'm saying? One off deals is a situation where it's two people in a commitment or in a contract with each other and they're supposed to be working together. Correct? To make sure that the needs are being met and everything is being taken care of in regards to this business deal or this commitment. A one-off deal is when somebody is stepping away from this two this two band partnership and going to make a one-off deal with someone else on the side that is completely and exclusively only benefiting them and not their other partner. A one-off deal. A third part, an unknown third party. Do you understand what I'm saying? So again. Avoid one-off deals or else make sure that they're really worth it. So, I don't know if this situation started off as a one-off deal, a daydream. Do you understand? Something that you gave to in the beginning, but now it's exploiting your positive energy and you wish that you would have never given to it in the beginning because now it's just a fucking financial and a material and a... Uh, time consuming burden to you more time consuming than anything because one thing that you can never get back is years you can repair a heart you can fix relationships you understand you can mend fences you can never get back years of wasted time never so again like i said avoid one off deals what did Beyonce say? Ring the alarm. I've been through this too long. I'll be damned if I see another chick on your arm. Ring the alarm. I've been through this too long, but I'll be damned if I see another chick on your arm. She gonna be rocking, um, what she say? She gonna be rocking VVS stones if I let her go. If, if You know what I'm saying? Like, she's too worried about tell me how should i feel when i know what i know with my female intuition telling me he a dog do you understand it's supposed to be me and you against the world right right me and you against the world but this motherfucker off making one-off deals with rihanna or whoever the fuck he with okay trust me that ring the long song did not come from anywhere I don't give a fuck how perfect y'all think Beyonce and JC is. Beyonce is not exempt from regular goddamn shit. I don't give a fuck they can try. Oh, it's just music. It's just uh, bullshit. Bullshit. You can keep that mask on all you want. She is not exempt. Okay? Not exempt. From the same bullshit that every everybody else goes through. I understand that she's the queen. And she's y'all's queen. Y'all think that she's the goddess. But she went got that ass spanked too by life. And all that karmic drama bullshit. Because this motherfucker was out making one-off deals on her too. Do you understand what I'm saying? It says the right partner is the one who can match you and then some. They're not making no one-off deals. Because if they can match you and then some of you bringing a whole bunch of goodness to the table. And they are, what the fuck you need to make a one-off deal with someone else for? And if you're going to be a part of a one-off deal. Either you, and like I told the young lady. It don't matter who you are. You could have been Beyonce or you could have been the one-off deal. Both of y'all stupid. And the one that's even stupider is the one that's staying at home. That is... Being fed goddamn neighborhood dick. That's how people get AIDS. That's how people get herpes. That's how people get shit that they can't get rid of. Do you understand what I'm saying? By not having a loyal partner. Do you understand? 
If you're going to be a part of a one-off deal, make sure that it's worth it and it's not going to backfire in your face in the long run. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that you guys are a one-off deal or whatever, but whatever is going on and what's being depicted up here is that you guys transcended past something and you regret giving to a situation in the beginning because now you're being exploited, your kind energy and your generosity. People are taking advantage of that because they think that you are going to continue to give regardless of what they do for you, regardless of what they don't do for you. You're going to continue to give to them as long as you as long as they keep putting their hand out. And they have no idea that you are over this. You no longer see the fulfillment and being used like this anymore. Anymore. I need someone that matches me and then some. I'm not going to be sitting up here faking and acting like I'm the queen bee and I got it all together. My life is magic and perfect and fairy tales and all that hoopla. But whole time I'm wearing a mask. I just glamoured it up in glitz and gold and I made this shit seem like everything is cool and everything is happy and everything is fantabulous. It's fucking not. Bitch, I'm wearing a mask for a reason. This motherfucker is not faithful. I can't even see his eyes to even know if what he feels for me is real. They always say if you want to know how a man feels or what the truth is, look into someone's eyes. You can't even see him. Only thing this man's know is he's glorified as a star. And I got to dope and be nice and keep this gracious character on and wear this beautiful professional appeal that I'm happy and that everything is fucking perfect. But it's fucking not. There's one-off deals on the table. It says, who's going to help you run this town tonight? Who's going to help you run the town tonight? Avoid one-off deals or make sure that they're really worth it. The right partner is one who can match you and then some. Who's going to help you run this town tonight? <coughs> Avoid those one-off deals. <coughs> I don't know if it was you that was the one-off deal or this came into the situation as a one-off deal, but... Mm. Don't wear a mask and ask and act like there is a more at play than what there is at play. It seems like your mind and your soul has transcended past this. And I'm thinking about true happiness. It's like the ten of stones and the ten of vessels is changed. It's it's like the ending of what you thought was once acceptable because being used and being exploited, like I said, someone liked the feeling of being needed until it turned into exploitation and unfulfillment. And now only thing this person is thinking about is true happiness and someone who is really going to match them and then some. Someone who's really going to be dedicated and not trying to make side deals. Clarify Jay-Z and Beyonce. And shit, and even that damn song, Who's Gonna Run This Town Tonight? Fucking, um, he sung that song with Rihanna. Hey... <laughs> Who's gonna run this town tonight? He sung that song with Rihanna. We are, and I said it, we are, uh, 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 y'all. The five of wands in the reverse, like, back away from the competition. Just back up. Don't even compete. You don't compete with you don't compare with, baby. It's not even worth you going through the struggle of trying to compete and compare. The Knight of Pentacles. Listen, it may take you a long time to get to the glory, but these hoes don't know your story. Keep on treasuring and keep focusing on the quality of what you could create with your skills. You know your ability and what you could do. You know what you could do is way better than this. And you definitely is daydreaming on something way more than 
what you're being offered right now and what you're being offered now is nothing like you're giving and you're not receiving a penny every time you reach in the bank you're taking a loss it is never going back into the bank you know like every time you be like oh I'm, I'm gonna go take some money out of my savings I'm gonna put it back my next paycheck no you're not no you're not no you're not so it's like, don't even put yourself in the fight. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is someone, the Knight of Pentacles is someone that, like I said, it may take a little bit of time. They may move a little bit slow, but they only invest their self in things that is going to get a return. They'll actually take time and study and like make sure and do their research and make sure that something is worth their while. That whatever they do is going to bring unlimited happiness. It's going to be continuously overflowing. Otherwise, I'm not even going to compete. I'm not even going to put myself in the line of an argument with you. Baby, you can have him. You can have her. Okay? I'm not even going to compete with you. The fuck? You want to do a one-off deal with that motherfucker? Have it. I'm going to take my pinnacle and I'm going to go invest it elsewhere. It's not even nothing to argue about. It's not, it's What? Listen, I've been dreaming about doing something else anyway. Because, you listen, you you done helped me figure my own shit out. Thank you very much. Take care now. Bye-bye then. Y'all take care. Y'all take care of this motherfucker, whoever whoever this is. Okay, Gemini is like, y'all take care of this motherfucker. I was tired of taking care of this motherfucker anyway. It's becoming a nuisance to me. I'm sitting over here dreaming of something else and shit like that. And to, who, who, who I'm about to sit here and compete and goddamn... To, you think I'm going to compete and complain? Shit. No, ma'am. If I got a... Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. If I don't like what the hell I'm doing, I'm just going to keep it on moving. The Empress. This Gemini know that they are beautiful. They know that they are fertile. Like Myrtle. I feel like this person ain't got no problem with having no babies. Okay? And it's just like... Why get in the way of my blessings when... Why get in the way of my blessings when I can... Plant something new and watch something that can give me so much more abundance grow. It's like I'm the star. It's like this Gemini knows who they, they know their worth. They might not have known it before when they were allowing themselves to be exploited. But I know my worth now. I'm the empress and I'm the star. And this could even be someone like you could be the mother of. It's like regardless to me, and, and y'all heard me. I don't give a fuck if you the main bitch or the side bitch. Both of y'all the dumb ones. Both of y'all stupid. And I feel like the one that's even stupider is the one that's at home. The longer that you stay there, the dumber you are. So if you are the empress, you you were the one that was at home. You was the Beyonce. And you had the mask on and Jay-Z was making one-off deals. And you was like, listen, I, I'm tired of giving to this shit. I'm tired of competing. I'm tired of arguing. I want a new strong foundation. Something real. That's what I want. I don't want this make-believe where I'm putting on this show for, to entertain other motherfuckers and I act like I'm happy. I know my worth. I know I'm worth more than this. And if anything, I'm still the mother of this person's children. So, you could be the mother of his children. I mean, yeah, the mother of his children. You still going to respect me. Bottom line, the king of chalice is in the reverse, so you, you guys could be dealing with a water sign, a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's like, at the end of the day, you don't know how to, whoever this man is that you're dealing with, making these one-off deals, this person doesn't know how to give or receive love. This person doesn't even know what love is. Listen, the queen of chalice is in the reverse. This person, listen, both of you guys are not made for each other. Bottom line. This person puts you in a place where you feel unworthy, insecure, and just like emotionally unbalanced, and you do the same to him. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like the way that you have to give to this person makes this person feel insecure about their self, and in return, they make you feel insecure. Do you understand what I'm saying? If to be someone who was once strong when you allow someone who was unsure and needy. But remember, you got off of the feeling of being needed. And I think that's why you transcended past this shit. Because when you 
get off on being admired by someone who is lacking and needs your support and I can never support you, it will end up backfiring and then that place of lack being around you, listen, this place of lack, these beggars and you know what I'm saying, you being around people like that, eventually you're, you will become what you surround yourself around. It's beautiful you are. Look, you walk around with a mask on. Like, why you got a mask on, sis? I know you I know you think this part of your outfit, but like, come on. Real spiritual people, we see beyond that shit. You ain't, you did, that's not fashion, baby. You trying to save face. You trying to save face and hide your real insecurities about how this man makes you feel. Because this person makes you compete with other people. There's a lot of drama associated with this person. It's not love. It's not love. And because this person didn't know how to love you, inadvertently you did not love yourself by continuous to give to people that wouldn't do anything but hold you down. And you asking who gonna run this town tonight, but he sat up there and sang that song with a whole nother bitch. That's why it's like when you're the empress and you know that you're the creative of all things habitable, with love and light in this world, that you are creative of life, you with the star energy, you know that you the star, you know your worth, baby. I'm not going to listen. Go ahead and sing that song with that bitch. I don't give a fuck. And I'm not going to wear no fucking mask. I'm not going to wear no mask. I know y'all praise her as the queen. Pay attention to the lyrics of some of these songs. Pay attention. Ring the alarm and what's that fucking song? Um, uh, the one where she walking around with the yellow on, banging, uh, 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 car windows with baseball bats. Pay attention. Ring the alarm. I've been through this too long and I'd be damned if I see another bitch on your arm. Does that sound like a woman that's really trying to transcend and elevate? And knows that she's better than this? Or does it sound like a bitch that's sitting up there willing to goddamn compete? She gonna be rocking JaVinci Coast if I let you go. VVS Stones if I let you go. I don't give a fuck about what a bitch wearing if I let go of a motherfucker that is putting one-off deals on me. When I can when I can get the whole shit bang. Ten of, ten of cups. Ten of, ten of um, pinnacles. Knowing your worth is knowing all. And if you don't know what you're worth, you'll, I don't give a fuck how long it take you to get there. it would never be nothing worth your while. And instead of paying attention to how much of a star he is, bitch, you're a star. And you are what you eat. If you eating and if you're around someone that's in a state of black and feel like they need you and they need to take from you and they need you to give to them this, this, and that, you're going to end up just right down there with them. Because they're going to take everything you got. And then when you ain't got nothing left to give, they're going to be out there making the one-sided deals. Just like we just said, Ten of Wands is going to be too much of a burden. It's going to be too much of a struggle. And if you're going to struggle in life, and if you're going to go through any struggle, you need to go through a struggle with someone who's willing to put, put it through there with you. If this person is not willing to go through every fucking feet of struggle with you, they not willing to be in your life. Do you understand? Like I said, the right partner is one who can match you and then some. The same amount of weight that you pulling is the same amount of weight that he pulling. And vice versa. Mm-mm. Eight of chalices. Someone left you crying and walked away because when the burden got too tough there's too many tens out here there's too many tens there's a lot of change going on there's a lot of change going on and i'm gonna let y'all know right now you better make the decision to walk away from this motherfucker dude because i'm trying to tell you right now this person is only around you as long as you have to give as long as this person can exploit you and as long as they can take advantage of you do not sit around and daydream on this ten of pentacles and this ten of cups and you Instead of making a move and knowing your worth, you sitting around waiting for something to happen. You better get up and make it fucking happen yourself. Because I'm telling you right now, you're the empress. You're the star. You got to know your worth. This person lowered, lowered your worth. 
by you continuing to give to someone like this. Do you understand? You were worth way more than this person. And I can see it's taking you a long time to learn something because the page of, I mean, the Knight of Pentacles, it could be someone, it's taking them a long time. Like, this person is moving, but it barely seems like they're moving at all. It's like you're learning, but it seems like you're barely picking up skills here. Do you understand? Because with this Ten of Wands, it's like you're still trying to see if you can make it to the finish line with this person, no matter how hard the struggle is. I'm trying to tell you, if you don't realize that this person does not know how to love and is tainting your ability to not only love other people, but to love yourself, this person is going to walk away from you. Because I'm trying to tell you, once your financial pool runs dry, they're going to run right with it. This person doesn't have anything to give to you, doesn't have any intentions of giving anything to you. Stop allowing this person to exploit you. Do you understand? And take advantage of your generosity. As long as you allow them to stick their hand out and you're going to put some in it, they're going to continue to do it. The fool in reverse. Stop being a fool. The tower. This situation is going to be destroyed. Please, Gemini, listen to me, baby. Especially if you're a mother. Especially if you're the mother of this person's child. Do not sit back daydreaming. I understand that your mind, your body, your spirit is slowly transcending past this. We got the um, ten three times. Okay. We got the ten of wands. We got the ten of chalices and the ten of pinnacles. And this is up there with the daydream. You're daydreaming about getting away from this situation where you are reluctant to give anymore because you almost gave it all out. Stop waiting. Stop daydreaming. Because if you don't make a move and stop this competition and competing, and if you don't learn quickly, you need to learn quicker. This person is going to leave you with nothing. 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 Because this person looks at you like you're an absolute fool and you need to stop having faith in this person. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person showing you who the fuck he was from the beginning. Do you understand what I'm saying? He or she showing you who the fuck they were from the beginning. Narcissistic. Emotionally not astute. Don't know how to love. Insecure. This is something that the Lord is tearing down regardless if you like it or not. Do not sit around and daydream. This is something that's going to happen fast and you ain't even going to see coming. I promise you. This shit is going to happen so swift and precisely and you're not going to be able to put it together. Do not daydream. London Bridge is coming down. Let it come down because you tore it down. Okay? You don't even want to give to the situation no more. Wake up. It's time for you to wake up and stop daydreaming. I understand you daydreaming about this happy house, this happy home. The only way that you're going to get to it is take action, baby. It's time to take action. Stop waiting. Stop waiting. It's time to take action. All right? Gemini, I love you. Let's get to this money. You are beautiful. You are that bomb ass bitch. It's time to get to the money, baby. It's time to get to this money and create new life. I love you guys. Thank you for loving yourself. Y'all click that like button. If y'all want to book with me, y'all already know what to do. Peace.